So what else is, came through this morning is that I wasn't going to be able, or we are not going to be able, because this is a, a, a general thing, to be uh, going on like this, like in the old ways, serving the old matrix, serve in, in our minds, serving the conditioned ways, the conditioned mind. Uh, we will lose and lose and lose more energy uh, doing that. And um, literally, it will be the outcome will be just more exhaustion, more suffering. And even though it's fine when that happens, because if it happens, it needs to happen to bring us to the point where we finally realize and listen and are ready then to serve and follow the path, the higher path, the path of the heart, the path of the soul, the path of our energy, how our energy is flowing. And put that, put our frequency first, put our frequency first before action comes. So that any action that we do is within alignment of our frequency. We don't do an action that is not honoring our frequency, that is not honoring our true self. Yeah. And of course we can only always honor that to the degree that we are aware of it, you know, that we are aware of the organic stream. And so everything that happens that is, that is creating suffering is making us uh, aware of the organic stream. It is like wearing us down to where we are, where it, it becomes very apparent, where there's like a real um, um, difference, a real discernment where we can feel, oh my gosh, yes, this path, the, the conditioned way that my egoic mind now, the false self, self is telling me to do, and it's got our, all the justification for it, but it's just in the mind. It's the voice. It's a voice in the mind. And when I tune in with my feelings, I tune in to the inner guidance. How does that feel? And then that the familiar also like um, that voice in the mind that is come that that is representing and the speaker for the old paradigm, you know, and that is the limited self, and that is the fear-based self, and that is the separate self, that is the, that character of the separate self, instead of the true self. Uh, we can literally feel the difference, and we, we, we can feel how, oh yeah, that, mm, I'm, I'm now standing on this, on this crossroads, if I go with the habit of the mind with where, where ha habit would pull me and where this voice that even seems like 3D logic because it's coming from the 3D and even the inverted 3D matrix system where it was born into and co conditioned into um, that when I go that path it's probably going to mean more suffering it's going to mean more stress it's going to mean I'm going to lose more energy and is it worth it? And if it still says that, yes, it's worth it um, because I need the outcome of that, you know, let's say that's a financial outcome. Um, yeah, then we go that path and then we see for ourselves, we see for ourselves, you know, oh, and, it's some, and that's why the suffering and the exhaustion, that's part of it. That's the, that's the getting us ready. Um, the courage comes when we're ready to make that little shift, to make that little step. And it always comes in, in bite sizes that we can chew and swallow. We, um, we are never given more than we can actually handle, even if that's the perception. Uh, the perception that we, we are getting more than we can handle comes from the perception of... Um, perceiving ourselves through through the story of who we think we are then it is more than we can handle as soon as we reconnect with our souls and we let all that story go then we realize that what we thought was more than we can handle that amount of suffering was 
what was necessary to bring us to that collision, to that full stop, to that like place where oh, I can't go on anymore. You know, I'm um, to that place of surrender, to that place of surrender of the mind. Yeah. And so uh, clearly the, um, the instruction was, the guidance was, okay, you're ready now. Um, and you can't go on like this, like you have been anyways. You can't keep that up. It will cause, uh, you will see, it will cause you, um, and you already know it now. So stick with it, stay with it. Don't brush it off. Um, as spiritual woo-woo, and I want to say any more, not like I've been really doing that, but there is a tiny little current within me that is still running that has that belief, that has that uh, conditioned belief system, you know. Um, so, and, and when that, when that is running and I'm in, and I'm unconscious to it, it can still steer the wheel as well. It has a say in, in, uh, how my ship is sailing, um, how I'm navigating through life. And, um, it was clear now, okay, now you can make that step and, and go into the joy of that. Now you are ready to make that step, to make that step out of the conditioned way into the guided way, into frequency choice, choice through frequency and putting your frequency first. And that is the way of the honoring. Yes. And it is only in your honoring of yourself that life can also honor you, you know? Um, life will always honor you at the same time. It will not seem that way. Yeah. Like, like I said, because of the reflection of where you do not honor yourself yet, because you're not aware of yourself, because you're still split off from your soul, because you're still running the artificial, the, uh, you know, egoic mindset currents, the reverse, the resistant currents. Yes. And this is how we undo them, is that we meet them. We meet them in full consciousness. And if we're not ready to meet them where we are not ready to meet them in consciousness, we will meet them in unconsciousness. They take us on a spin. They take us on a ride, on a whirlwind ride. And that means exhaustion and suffering. And so it always goes that far as it needs for the mind to um, stop, you know, for, for the mind to not be able to run that again out of, out of coming to, um, to an end, you know, coming to an end. And this doesn't have to be, as I always say, it doesn't have to be in the way that, um, in a conceptual way. It can, it can look different, but it is still happening. Um, it is still happening frequentially that we are making uh, energetically, emotionally, uh, energy, frequency-wise, that we are making the way we feel, that we are making the choices from our feelings because we got the message. And it doesn't have to be within the language of the way I speak it, you know. It can be a different language. So... Okay, um, okay, I'm going to leave it at that for now and let's see.